Hello and welcome to Turf Truth Tuesday where we look at claims in the turf grass industry and ask, are they true? If you're new to the channel you may like to subscribe to be notified of new content. The video today was difficult for us. These videos are more fun when we critique people who imply they are experts, but actually know very little about soil and turf grass nutrition. To the contrary, Shane Heath seems like a truly sincere bloke just doing his best. Shane operates his own YouTube channel, and the content of his recent video is almost entirely inaccurate and has the potential to mislead the public. So, we chose to do this video in the hopes that Shane sees it, realizes where he went wrong, and changes his management practices accordingly. Now let's turn on the BS counter, and get started. So you're wondering, how often should I fertilize my lawn? Stay tuned, because we're going to talk about it. What's up YouTube, it's Shane Heath here, and I'm back with another video. So now it's been about 36, 37 days since I threw down fertilizer last, and it's time to go again. So I've got two bags here I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go over the difference between the two. One of them is a Walmart brand, because I think there's a lot of people who are like, oh, let me just run to Walmart, it's cheaper, let me buy a bag of this. But I'm gonna show you the true insight here of, it's not really as cheap as you think it is. All survey said. You definitely picked the wrong fertilizer to compare to the flagship blend because actually, it is the flagship blend that is more expensive than the Walmart blend. We will get to that in a moment. He shows some mowing footage for the next few minutes. Let's skip to the good bits. This is what you came for. You should fertilize your yard every 30 to 45 days. All survey said. Of course, fertilization intervals will differ depending on many factors including location, time of year, turf grass species, and desired outcome. In addition, a study published in environmental research letters found that between 30 and 50% of homeowners don't apply any fertilizer at all. The study also reported that there is widespread satisfaction with the quality of the natural environment in the American residential macrosystem. So, claiming that people should fertilize their lawn every 30 to 45 days, when as many as half do not and are satisfied with the results, is simply not true. So let's talk about the fertilizer we're going to use today. So first things first, you know the first thing we're going to be looking for is the flagship from Yardmastery.com. Great product. We'll see about that. As the 2406, it's got 3% iron, and, and it's also spiked with bionite, which from what I understand, it's kind of like malorganite. And then your Walmart brand is going to be your expert lawn fertilizer. It's 2% iron, and it's a 3004 is what it's going to be. So here, 14 pounds versus 45 pounds. This covers 5,000 square feet. This covers 15,000 square feet. This was like $16, I think, for this one bag. All survey said. Walmart has the 14-pound bag priced at $9.92 and the 42-pound bag priced at $28.86. So if you tripled this for what you would need for 15,000 square feet, you come up like $3 short of what this bag of flagship costs shipped to your door. All survey said. The amount of fertilizer differs between these two fertilizers. So, let's balance everything out and see what we find. The 14-pound Walmart bag costs $9.92, whereas the flagship fertilizer costs $54.99. To compare these on a pound-per-pound -pound basis, we simply divide the price by the pounds and we find the Walmart fertilizer costs 71 cents per pound and the flagship costs $1.22 per pound. So, the flagship fertilizer is 1.7 times more expensive than the Walmart fertilizer. To make matters worse, when we price these fertilizers per pound of nitrogen, the Walmart fertilizer costs $2.36 per pound of nitrogen and the flagship costs $5.09 per pound of nitrogen. Now, the flagship is more than twice as expensive as the Walmart fertilizer. So, no matter how they are priced, the Walmart fertilizer is less expensive. And now for that $3 to $5 difference it is in price to have it shipped to your door and you don't have to go to Walmart and deal with the people of Walmart. <laughs> It's a no-brainer. Order the quality fertilizer. If you want them to order the quality fertilizer, it won't be the flagship, as we are about to show you. You can get this off of yardmastery.com. Links below. Those are affiliate links, so they will help the channel. Thank you in advance. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here, basically. I'm going to use flagship on all of my yard, 15,000 square feet, except for my 5,000 strip of Bermuda in the front. I'm going to put down the expert on that area. So we're going to have a side-by-side -side to see which one really is better here. My money is going to be on the flagship, so that's going to be the more quality product here, no doubt, in my opinion. All survey said. We already debunked this fertilizer, but I guess we need to do it again. We see it contains copper, iron, manganese, and zinc, all in the oxide form. When the element is in the oxide form, this means it is insoluble in the soil and will not be available for plant uptake, at least not within the next several decades. Well... We're waiting. Sorry Judge Smales, you just keep waiting on those oxidized micronutrients. The remaining two elements, boron and molybdenum are needed in such small quantities that the soil provides more than the turf grass will ever use. 
So, you don't need to apply these elements as well. Therefore, the only useful components in this fertilizer are nitrogen and potassium. When we look at the Walmart fertilizer, we find it contains iron sucrate, which is a modified form of iron oxide. Similar to the flagship fertilizer, this is also wasted money. However, the only remaining components are nitrogen and potassium. When we compare these products on price, or on components in the bag, the Walmart fertilizer is of greater quality because it has less waste and costs less. Shane fertilizes his yard for the next few minutes. Let's skip ahead. Okay, so biggest thing here, when you're throwing fertilizer down, what you want to do is you want to throw it down to your last tire track. So you're going to see where you just came across the grass. And what you want to do is you want to throw it right back to that track and keep working your way across the yard. In general, this is true. Well said. Now me, normally I like to start on a lower setting and I'm not afraid to go one way and then turn around and go the opposite way in the yard to make sure I got a good even coverage down. Great advice. And now if you haven't thrown down your first bag of fertilizer yet and you know we're already on our second bag for people that's been keeping up with it, don't be afraid. Get out there and go ahead and get that first bag down. Just start from there and keep up for the rest of the season. And now when it comes to fertilizing, you're gonna see there's a lot of people that just get out, throw a bag of weed and feed down in the springtime, and then they're done until probably the end of the summer, then they throw another bag out. Every 30 to 45 days is what you're going to need to really push your lawn to the next level. The way in which Shane made this assertion here, may be true. To result in a higher quality lawn than would occur naturally, applied nitrogen may be required every one to two months. But, the blanket assertion Shane made earlier that you should apply fertilizer every 30 to 45 days was not true. Let's not forget. Many people do not apply any fertilizer and are perfectly happy with their lawns. And you'll see when I was up front here, I made sure that I went back and blew off my driveway and my sidewalk. You don't want any fertilizer sitting on your concrete. It's going to stain if it gets wet. Plus, you paid for it to be in the yard. Get it in the yard. We completely agree. Leaving any fertilizer on impervious surfaces will increase the risk of environmental impairment. And now make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned because you're going to want to see the results of this. That video will be coming out. I'll probably give it a week or two and then I'll do a video probably two weeks. We look forward to it. Unfortunately, Shane applied one fertilizer to his backyard which is zoysia and the other to his front yard, which is Bermuda. So, any observation Shane makes will be useless. However, if Shane applied the same amount and form of nitrogen, we think it will be Shane who will be surprised when he sees the results. Well, there you have it, another turfgrass video thoroughly debunked. We do apologize to Shane if he is offended. You do seem like a nice person. But you are way off on this. Please don't forget to subscribe if you would like to be notified of future content. We hope everyone has a great week and don't forget to check back next Tuesday for more Turf Truth Fun. See you then.